God bless you and greetings to you in the wonderful name of our living Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, or as some people know him, Jesus Christ. Um, I am trying to come up with a good way of doing these YouTube videos, so please bear with me. I'm going to test different formats on how to do it. <clears throat> I have a disclaimer portion that I'm going to go ahead and um, put in the description. So uh, just let it be known that uh, I don't claim to be perfect. I'm not the race of Adam. I do make mistakes sometimes. You can believe this if you want. Don't believe you don't want. Um, I'm not here to intimidate, bully, name call, point fingers, mock, or any other negative thing. I'm just here to share with you what the Lord shared with me in a nutshell. Alrighty. Today I'd like to share about distractions. Distractions lead people in a predetermined direction. Currently, there are thousands of distractions leading from Yah and Yeshua and their messages. Yah being God or Heavenly Father and Yeshua being Jesus Christ, as some of you know. Let me start by saying, repent, repent, repent. We in America are being distracted in many, many areas. The whole blow up with President Trump and the government corruption is a distraction. The QAnon versus Alex Jones and Jerome Corsi, distraction. The Illuminati, distraction. The hundreds of Antichrist B system laws coming down the pike and are now being implemented, distraction. Monsanto, the people killer <laughs> company, distraction, etc. I could go on and on and on with a bunch of them, and I'm sure you could too. All of these evils, plus hundreds more, are manifesting themselves daily. President Trump couldn't possibly handle them all, so why don't people expect them to? President Trump is a man placed into position of leadership with a job to do. One of his jobs is to provoke the New World Order. Do you think he's doing his job there? I do. He's got them going absolutely berserk. He is part of Yah's exposure team. His job, among others, is to provoke and expose. Do you think he's doing this? Do you think he's doing his job? I do. Another one of President Trump's jobs is to transition from the old world order to the Antichrist peace system. Do you think he's doing that? I do. Look at all the beast systems that are being implemented as I write this or as I speak this. Is President Trump saved? A Christian? A believer? I don't know. All I know is he is the right man for the job that he's been given. As I stated in a previous post and video, Yah doesn't need to have a person to be a believer to work with him. Since Yah knows the end from the beginning, he already knows how this is going to turn out before it even starts. No surprises, no gotcha with him. The fallen ones, uh, that being fallen angels, have a script that they must adhere to. They are not all powerful, not even close. They know they have to keep to the script they are given. To stray off script for them means early punishment and that is something they try and stay away from. <clears throat> they are trying to postpone the inevitable being punishment and judgment as long as they can. There is something the Father refers to as the fullness of time, and that is something that must be fulfilled according to His, the Father's mandate, and according to His time. His word is absolute, and when He says something is going to happen, then it happens exactly like He said it would, in the manner He said it would, in the time frame, if given, just like He said it would. No excuses. No, oh, he changed his mind, or no delays, or whatever. No excuses. If he said it, that settles it. It's going to go down just like he said, period. After all, unless he makes an exception, he may give people choices, and at times, scripturally, he does. You can read that in the Word. But generally speaking, uh, he pretty much states it like it's going to be. After all, there's no power in the universe, or verses, that is like him. He is the only Most High, one true Yah, or God, the, the Yah, or God and Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
No one or nothing else even comes close. This entire plan of, of his, what I have heard him refer to as the plan of the ages, is his creation, his baby, so to speak. He will allow nothing, nobody, no fallen one, no Illuminati or any thought or imagination of mankind interfere with what he wants to be done, period. And you can take that to the bank as long as they're around and functioning, which of course is in, is in question and doubt, but that's for another time. So our focus should be on Yah, Yeshua, and their thoughts, their goals, their mindset, knowing in our heart of hearts that this is going to pan out just like they said it would. Repent, 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 except Yahusha, Hamashiach, which is Jesus Christ, as your personal Lord, which you know is Hebrew Adon, and Savior, and believe Yah, God the Father, raise him from the dead to receive everlasting life. There is no other name under heaven whereby a man or a woman can be saved. If you want to go to the Father, you must come by way of the Son, Yahusha, Jesus Christ. All other roads and methods lead nowhere, or worse, they lead to hell. Yah bless you and your families, Brother Ed. So, as I said, I've got a different uh, format I'm trying here. Um, I'm going to try to uh, get online more often and share more things, whether it's an insider or a direct word or something I'm working in the scriptures. Uh, anyway, just a communication as, as I'm directed. And I pray and uh, hope and uh, believe it's going to be a blessing to you. Um, and as I stated earlier, um, this is a little different in where I'm going to have a donate button of some kind. I can't figure it out on YouTube because I'm not going to go through all the hula hoops they're going through. So I'm going to have a donate button in the description. Um, to start with and see how that works. Um, other than that, y'all bless you. Have a great day. Uh, as I said, I'm going to try to get on here more often and get some stuff out to you guys so that you can prepare for what lies ahead. Y'all bless you and your families. Brother Ed.